There is a moral responsibility in disciplining children that teachers must not abdicate. Obviously, you should always try to avoid emotional escalation, but correcting a pupil's impudence, impertinence, or rudeness does not mean that you are being disrespectful to them, even if you do show annoyance or anger in your tone of voice when doing so. Be clear. Teachers have authority, which is based on the important idea they are special people who have been given the right to decide what is correct and to apply and enforce rules widely thought to be in the common interest. While pupils have equal moral standing with you, they do not have equal authority. You have more authority than they do as a necessary part of your role. You have specialist skills and knowledge that they don't. You have qualifications that they don't. You accept responsibilities that they do not have to shoulder. Your role requires you to exert the authority invested in you by law, for which you are accountable to other appropriate persons and authorities, but not to your pupils. You are morally accountable to your pupils, but you are not legally or ethically accountable to them. Don't think you have to earn their respect. You don't. Respect is a fundamental value and a basic human right. Mutual respect is a fundamental duty we have towards each other. Don't let that word respect be used as a weapon against you. My book will help you become confident to take on challenging incidents. It will give you the tools to tackle difficult, sensitive and controversial issues when they arise, as they surely will. Becoming a teacher is to enter society's most fundamental profession. If you would like a copy of Becoming a Teacher, you can click on the link in the description below and use the code BECOMING20 at the checkout. It will get you a 20% discount, not just on my book, but on all the items in your basket. You can follow me on Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram and YouTube for blogs, videos and other discussions on professionalism in teaching. And you can go to my website newteacherstalk.com for even more.